Good evening, and welcome to bedtime stories with Tracking Ponies. Tonight's adult children's story: Pay to Play, the EPA foray, a fable from the racing industry. One day, father and son were out in the shop, working together on their race car, enjoying a pop, a twist of a wrench. A firm grip with the hand. A new intake manifold was installed. Three cheers for Dad! Son received a notification on his phone. What is this? The EPA overdosed on caffeine and is having a fit. All race cars and trucks, no matter the exception, would be launched into space in an act of transgression. Modify your car, and you're going to jail. Follow arbitrary rules or be accused of betrayal. Modifying the engine and exhaust of a vehicle with a VIN is more deadly to commit than the deadliest of sins. We're coming for everyone. Hiding will not help. <laughs> We know best how to spend your tax dollars. Go look at our reviews on Yelp. So EPA and friends decided to head out. Grabbing fancy legal paperwork to show off their government clout. In what was an incredible show of force and power, the EPA knocked on doors hour after hour. A tuning company here, an exhaust manufacturer there. Their reach was endless and limitless. Anything but fair. What are you doing? And what is all of this? The EPA would shout. Demanding to know what green cats and aftermarket headers are all about, we like to race cars and compete for fun and sport," said the racer. "Let us educate you. It's not as bad as you purport. Fuels are progressing. Our cars are running more efficient and cleaner. Engine tuning brings out the best for racer and environmentalist dreamer. We understand the hot boy simp diesel coal rolling more on numb nuts are ruining it for everyone. But please." Don't take away our precious race days for father and son. Please just give us a second. Please just hear us out. Let us explain each performance part, and you'll have no doubts. We care about our planet. You, me, and the trees. Random bats in random caves. Ugly birds and annoying bees. Pollution is toxic and concerns all creatures. Please allow me to explain my race car's engineering features. It is optimized for efficiency and is only driven on track. Here, if you want, you can buy the VIN number back. The fuel the engine is using is clean with little artifact. Ethanol pollutes less than gas, and that's a scientific fact. The racing industry is quite large and well established. A misunderstanding could destroy careers, lives, and put families in peril. A gross overgeneralization with laws will only do harm, and send racing underground to create black market ethanol corn farms. Let's look to the future and move on from the past. Most importantly, let's get out from underneath each other's ass. Access. The oil catch can and air filter just installed are not defeat devices that violate the Clean Air Act. We're appalled. In an attempt to make engines run more efficient. Racers are mistaken as gross polluters who are mentally deficient. Some ethanol cars pollute less than a Toyota Prius. They can run 10-second quarters and not look like a penis. Program and does not drag, road, and autocross racers of all kind can race without polluting like Nestle or Pegasus gold mines. So it appears the EPA is back at it again. The little guys the target as big players can buy in. The hypocrisy is obvious, apparent, and wrong. Buy off the EPA. Sure, you can go dump in that pond. Carbon offsets for dumping sludge or polluting the air is okay, but cleaner running ethanol cars are not worth the time of day. Democrats, Republicans, and astronauts all across this fine land detest the massive overreach and misunderstanding at hand. Okay, okay. We're excited about electrification, you see, but you misunderstand the race car industry. Transforming a vind car to off-road use only is fine. 
The engines are tuned to run efficiently all of the time. Clean burning fuels are available and being developed right now. Battery and internal combustion engines can coexist. I'll tell you how. Education and knowledge will help all parties understand what each of us wants. Let's give a helping hand. We all want to protect our magnificent Mother Earth while racers can still race on their own turf. Understand what we do pollutes little to the big picture. Technology is leading the way for fuels with a non-pollutant sticker. With synthetic fluids and technological progression of all kind, together we can reach a general meeting of the mind. Racing is a staple, an icon, a beloved tradition. Gran Turismo video games are great, but it's just not as bitchin'. Please understand, see where we are coming from and support the RPM Act? For racing can live forever and not be subject to an EPA carjack. Thank you for joining me this evening for Bedtime Stories with Tracking Ponies. <laughs>